Hello, you all beautiful Aquarius. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Radhu Tarot. Uh, I'm Rad. And uh, in this whole video, we are going to look into your week, November 30th to December 6th, 2020. And uh, should you be interested in a personal reading or um, should you be interested in uh, tarot lessons, you can go to my website, uh, which is listed in the description down below. And there you're going to find all the information and as well uh, how to purchase that uh, from, from the website itself. So with that being said, uh, moving to the spread straight away. Uh, first card we have here, oh my God, for you Aquarius, that is going to be the High Priestess, which is the very topic of the week, followed by the energies that are feeling and These energies are feeding and supporting the topic, so I mean, F me. Right, so we do have the devil there, uh, followed by the next one, which stands as the challenges that you are about to offer. <laughs> That is, gonna be, that is going to be a hell of a ride. And the good thing is that at the end, beautiful, it's just magical. And I am a rising Aquarius. So the Tao, it is the challenge that you guys, and partially me as well, are to overcome. Followed by the gifts and the blessings that uh, you get to enjoy throughout the week, that is going to be the gift and the blessing by the Five of Swords. Moving next, it is the impression that you are leaving into the people around, or in other words, how others are seeing you, how, what, how you look into others' eyes. That is going to be the uh, Three of Cups. Afterwards, it is the obstacles that are to hold you back, and we do have the Knights of Wands. Uh, followed by the positive aspects which are to push you forward uh, or help you uh, throughout the week and that is going to be the Six of Cups. And the last one for you Aquarius which represents the guidance that Tarot is offering, that will be the Nine of Swords. A lot of Nine of Swords here. Uh, this week uh, you are one before the last reading that I'm doing for the weeklies Aquarius and uh, all of the readings were toward a positive end, um, so it's it's a huge week for what it seems for all of us. Uh, it doesn't matter are you uh, Cancer, Gemini, for example, Libra, Virgo, or Scorpio or Aquarius. It seems that all of us are to have a huge realization or a revelation, something like this. But in you, my God, wow. Right, so let's get on with it, shall we? So first one, or the first couple of cards we have, this is the um, energy that it is feeding, the topic, the, the energy of the devil that it is feeding, the topic of the high priestess for your week, and you, than anybody else, is about to find the needs of their soul. Yes, I mean, you are about to find the needs of your soul. Whether you like it or not, that's about what's happening here. And um, with these two cards, it's good. The, the urge, the urge is going to be much stronger than you ever felt before. The devil, think of it like the flame within you that's it's fighting back the darkness and it is burning for, for life itself. And that flame can only be fueled by all the desires and all the urges, all the hunger that you do have. And this week you just give up of resisting those urges, those desires and, and, and those goals, if you will, for what you are to understand. That if you do not feed the flame, the flame fades. And as the flame fades, gloom spreads. And, as the glo uh, and at the end, only dark remains. 
and you don't want to be in the dark, do you? Because I sure hell no, I, I am not. I am not okay with that. So, you are to give yourself to those primal urges, those hungers, insatiable for the most part. And that way you are to discover, or not just only to discover, but also fulfill the need of your soul. Highly, highly spiritual reading is what we do have here. It's, if it relates to anything, it does relate to emotions, it does relate to love, it does, it does relate to spirituality. And uh, that leads you to the topic that you do find your thing, regardless what it is. Now, I know that people get excited when they hear soulmates, twin flames. It gets pretty close with that. For there is no card in tarot that tells soulmates or a twin flame, if somebody says the lovers, I can argue with that in an open topic. I mean, it's, it's out there. So... Yes, I mean, you are going to find, you're not just only going to find, but also fulfill the needs of your soul. And with the high priestess that stands as, as such, it will be long lasting. I mean, you may get the job that your soul needs and it's going to be a long lasting one. You may get the love you need that is going to be a, a, a long lasting one. I, I, and it's like, and everything is going to fall into silence for nothing will matter anymore, at least for you, at least for throughout the duration of the week. And the energies that are pushing you forward here, the energies of the devil, my God, these are such a strong energies. Because with, with those desire that are burning within you, with those hungers that are pushing you toward the direction, you are to be pretty much unstoppable and... Um, you can and you will uh, create the, 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 the fortunate circumstances or the faithful circumstances needed in order to manifest your dream, your goal, whatever it is that you are after. So after that, it is the challenge. So there is a catch, it's a challenge that you have to overcome. And that is the tower. So all that, of course, is going to push you through a transformation. It's because it comes that way. I mean, you now are going to fulfill the, um, the urges and the needs of your soul and not beforehand because you are to either change something or something is going to be changed for you. Now with the tower, uh, at the very start of this transformation, you're going to start feeling very uneasy, very uncomfortable, like you have no control over. But that is because uh, at that point, you are still going to try to resist the urges of, of your primal push or your primal prime desire, if I may say it that way. And the more you try to resist it, the more difficult things are going to become. And at the end, you are just going to give up. And that's pretty much the challenge, just to give up on what is happening and just give yourself to it completely. Because it will seem like chaos, but only the weak aims for order. The, the chaos, or rather like the tower doesn't come to you or doesn't pushes the change in you so to do you evil no the tower comes so to make you strong and you can rule on the upheaval that that's the sole reason of it and if you let it go or rather like allow it to move on and just go with that transformation that has at its start um, unpleasant symptoms but at the end, actually is nurturing, growing and revitalizing your life. Like I said, you ought to see that was all worth it. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just at the end, you are going to find not just your life or probably your love, depending on what the high priest relates to, because it could, it could relate to anything. But whatever relates to, you're going to find it much broader 
than before. Much more love to give, much more jobs to conquer, much more projects to work on and, and moving forward with that. But that's only if you do say, screw it, you know, I'm going to do what I, what I have to do and may I hang for it if I have to. Moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy, and that will be the gift and the blessing of the Five of Swords. So literally nothing will be in, uh, in a condition or in shape, if you will, to stand your way. Your victories are pretty much guaranteed. That is the, uh, the gift and the blessing. And the good thing about that, it is that you are gonna stretch your boundaries or your limits or your means just enough so you can get the victory or so you can get it in the in the back right so you can ensure your victory without either over killing it or underperforming into it on top of it with the five of swords it's uh, highly unlikely that any kind of your speech or mental cruelty is going to touch you in any way so it's more like people for example if people are talking behind your back you just don't you just won't care anymore for you've found your thing and you wouldn't care less what this person or that person thinks about it. You're just gonna focus on it here throughout the week, move through your or push through your transformation that the tower represents, reshape your life because it, this is what it takes for the tower is gonna bring down your structure like you like there is no tomorrow and you will have to rebuild them but this time around you're going to rebuild them in a much more open way to add up on them and, and to, like I said, to make your life much wider than, uh, than before. Moving next, we do have how people are going to see you. Uh, we do have the Tree of Cups, a very happy person. Uh, now, you know, the tower usually is interpreted in a very grim way that, you know, bad things are happening around. But with this card, people are going to see you that you are actually welcoming this. And that's pretty peculiar that you are welcoming this, this change. Um, I don't know, say that. And uh, that is a uh, kind of like morbid example, but it is the first thing that comes to my mind, say that a house, the house that you are living in catches fire and burns down and you kind of like feel it's a bad thing, you you regret it, but you feel good the same way uh, simultaneously because now you get to move something that you wanted to do for so, such a long time and it comes like, you know, it comes like a sign of, of the universe, if you will. So people are gonna see you very happy, very open as well, um, to the world itself, but open to the world doesn't mean obliged to everybody. Open to the world in the sense of that's open to connect with the world, uh, to connect with the world emotionally and experience everything that the world has to offer to you, like anger, like love, like like happiness as well, glee, joy, uh, disappointment also, you will, you will want to, or this is how people are gonna see you, to want to experience everything and not leave anything unexplored. And also, people are to see you, that is on a more practical level though, people are gonna see you like uh, a person who wants to uh, widen their social circle, now that comes pretty close with the, with the Three of Cups, but here, uh, people may not share your, um, your opinion, your points of view, your vision as well. And those that doesn't share your opinions and your points of view and your vision pretty much doesn't have a, a, a place within your social circle. And, and that's close to mine, but sometimes, you know, we are just, we are just trying, you know, to, to make something happen like a friendship or like a connection that obviously it, it, it just can't happen. So just don't push yourself if it isn't happening straight away. It's, it's simply not worth it. Moving next, we do have the uh, obstacles that are gonna hold you back. That is a person here with uh, the uh, Knights of Wands. And uh, this person, uh, it's, uh, it's, it seems that it's beguiling you into something or it's acting in a very selfish way. I, I was about to say disinterest, but that's not exactly true. This is how it stands with this one, okay? 
they are usually very uh, energetic, very enterprising people. Uh, they like to throw themselves with everything they got for as long as they hold interest into it. So if that's, for example, that something you flirt with, this one is going to flirt and is going to be with you for as long as you pose interest to them. But that's not love, that's not true one. And you're going to feel for it pretty quickly here with this such a powerful card that we do have at the start and probably the, the way that I'm imagining it, you know, because I don't know how it is in America or so on, but here in my country, there was that trend. I don't believe that that trend is out there anymore, but there was that trend that, you know, uh, people seek the thrill. They don't seek the sense of security and sense of certainty. That's, you know, that emotion that gives you peace, that gives you balance. And um, before, uh, and they go through many tumultuous relationships. People go through many tumultuous relationships before they realize that the thrill is not important because the thrill, the thrill is just an interest, nothing more, and probably a passion, nothing more, nothing less. But the love isn't there. That is just an example, once again, and. Uh, that will be, that plays a role as a, uh, a final lesson probably for you to realize that interest, just having an interest is not enough, but also uh, if it's about relationship, you have to bind on a level of souls. If it is about a uh, career, you have to bind on a level of vision for, for a long term, for how the business is going to look like after 10 years, for example, instead of binding yourself on a vision of how this project is going to be done into the next step. And uh, yeah, that's the challenge to kind of like realize that this person is going to abandon you for as, um, as soon as you do not pose interest into them whatsoever. And in another way, how this could play out or it could play out simultaneously, it is that this one is going to see seemingly you know do you a favor uh, and it will seem like they will not expect they are not going to expect anything in return but in reality they do and they are going to hold you entitled to it so be careful of it uh, moving next we do have uh, what's uh, the positivity and what pushes you forward Aquarius and that is the six of cups and it's beautiful guys relates to the beautifully to the um high priestess and as well the devil and what pushes you forward it is the sense of uh, of happiness in generally with the six of cups that happiness uh, will going to manifest itself in a different way depending on where it, it, it happens but if it happens just for example in a career it will manifest through the happiness that you are going to do the things creatively your way you're just going to enjoy the tasks and you're going to wake up every morning being happy that you are going to work with interest and, and with enthusiasm with joy with glee should it be about relationship that is the happiness to connect with someone that you're not just only much on the level of souls but again but as well physically and that you can say anything to that person and you're and even if you are not understood you at least are not going to be judged about it okay and, and that goes both ways so it's it's something i can't yeah it's it's magical okay it's magical because there will be no um presumption there won't be any back thoughts that are on the back of one's mind um, any surreptitious intentions it will be pure it will be innocent and and that's what you need to um, strive yourself toward the purity, the innocence, the, uh, the spontaneous emotions that you do experience and you, my friends, are going to find them in the small things in life. So, um, last one for you, that will be the guidance that Taro is offering and we do have the Nine of Swords. So, like I said, Nine of Swords, very common card in these readings uh, for that week. And uh, to you, the Nine of Swords means that uh, you have to be uh, prepared, okay, to take on all that power. It will be very, uh, the word probably is demanding in a sense of that there will be great consequences from that power. Probably you are going to end up happy, someone else is going to end up miserable, you are going to end up lucrative, someone else is going to end up uh, poor. 
everybody goes with their fate. That's what the card says. And you should not deprive your happiness or success or lucrivity just to make somebody else like that. Unless, you know, that's not your soul mate. The one that you bind with your soul. That is the guidance that Tao is offering. So uh, that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. Uh, hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. It's a beautiful one. It is the most powerful one I did so far. That is the 11th I did. And um, wow, I'm, I'm pretty much stunned. Uh, and truth be told, I think I envy you. Well, that is not te technically true for I am rising Aquarius. And that also applies to me in a in a big strength, not as strong as with you, son of Aquarius, uh, or son in Aquarius, but uh, it still applies to me to a uh, rather vast extent. So yeah, that being said, this was our reading, I can say, and uh, we are to see each other next time. Till then, bye.